Mary says to Jesus, they have no wine. And Jesus says to Mary, Woman, what does that have to do with me? My time has not come. And uh, I'm going to read from John 2. And it says, On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. And Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. Dear woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, My time has not yet come. That's what Jesus said to Mary. His mother said to the servants, the servants who were dealing with wine, she said to them, Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. That is a word for someone today. Whatever Jesus tells you to do, whatever the Holy Spirit has been prompting you to do, to start, do it. Whatever the Holy Spirit has been prompting you to do, start with it and do it. I am talking to myself as well. I love it when God speaks something to me because I first ponder upon it. I ponder upon it because I wanted to speak to my spirit first before I can go and speak it to somebody else. So this has spoken to my spirit as well. And whatever God tells us to do, we must do it. That is basically obedience. We must do it. Jesus says to Mary, his time has not yet come. But Mary does not stop there. For somebody else, it should have been period. Okay, fine, full stop. I'm not going to do anything. But Mary, no. She goes to the servants and she says, whatever he tells you to do. She had to have her own relationship with God for God to give her revelations. She was not extra special because she gave birth to Jesus. You need to understand that. She also was held to every responsibility of a Christian to have their own relationship with God. Not because I'm the mother of Jesus, therefore I need to get a pass. No, no. She knew something. She knew something. Yes, she gave birth to the word. She lived with the word. But hey, she listened to the word. She listened to Jesus. She knew something that others didn't. So don't give up because somebody has put a period in a sentence. No. Mm -mm. God is putting da, 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 dot, dot, dot to be continued. Do it. I always wondered why Jesus said, my time has not yet come, woman. And yet he turns around and exactly what Mary was asking of him. There's something there. There's something there. There's a revelation there. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Beautiful. It takes me to another scripture. By the way, can I make a confession? I've been... For years, I've been reading the Bible, of course, and many years ago, I was really afraid of reading Revelations because Revelation, because of the creatures that are in the book, I would read everywhere else except Revelation and maybe a bit of Daniel <laughs> because they also have uh, creatures there. But revelation for the heart, for the life of me, I was so scared to to just think about it. You are scared of reading the word, the very thing that um, eradicates fear, the very thing that dispels fear. But you're afraid to read it. Mm. We grow, <laughs> yes, we do. 
so in revelation 22 verse 7 it says behold i am coming soon blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy in this book right i john am the one who heard and saw these things when i had heard and seen them i fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who had been showing them to me but he said to me do not do it i am a fellow servant with you and with your brothers the prophets and all who keeps the words of this book do not worship me worship god he said then he told me do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book because the time is near hence i'm saying whatever jesus has told you to do whatever the holy spirit has prompted you to do do it because the time is near let him who does wrong continue to do wrong that shook me i was like what what let him it continues to say let him who is vile continue to be vile let him who does right continue to do right and let him who is holy continue to be holy if that does not put some holy fear in you i don't know what what will because to me and for me it has jesus is at the point where okay you want to do wrong continue continue to do wrong continue to be vile that shook me it shook me to the core that should make someone want to turn 180 degrees and turn to god turn back to god because that is a word for someone the one who is living right and holy continue even more even more the one who's vile uh, turn away from your wicked ways and turn to jesus this is what is this is telling me the time is near jesus is coming he says here that the heading says jesus is coming and it goes on to say behold i am coming soon that is verse 12 my reward is with me and i will give to everyone according to what he has done done being the operative word done being the operative word he will give according to what everyone has done hallelujah hallelujah great is your mercy towards me your loving kindness towards me your tender mercies i see great 